Hi, thanks um, for joining me for Tea and Poetry. Uh, the poem I've selected for today is um, a poem by Jane Kenyon. Uh, Jane Kenyon is a fellow Michigander. Uh, she was born in Ann Arbor. Um, I was not, but I am from Michigan originally, so I have a special affinity uh, for her. Um, I uh, This particular poem is called Let let evening come. So I'm going to read it now. Let the light of late afternoon shine through chinks in the barn, moving up the bales as the sun moves down. Let the cricket take up chafing as a woman takes up her needles and yarn. Let evening come. Let dew collect on the hoe abandoned in long grass. Let the stars appear and the moon disclose her silver horn. Let the fox go back to its sandy den. Let the wind die down. Let the shed go black inside. Let evening come. To the bottle in the ditch, to the scoop in the oats, to the air in the lung, let evening come. Let it come as it will, and don't be afraid. God does not leave us comfortless. So let evening come. You know, I, this poem, there's something about this poem that is so, it feels so comforting. It's a little bit like a blanket. And um, I don't know if that's how she intended it, but it is the effect, at least, that I find that it has on me. Um, I also love the, uh, the setting of this poem and the kind of the simple imagery, um, concrete kind of imagery of a, of a farm. So thank you for sharing this with me. Uh, let me know if you have any poems you would like me to read. Uh, and um, I'll be back tomorrow. So in the meantime, take care.